Hi, welcome. This is Miss Sanka, and today we are going to read Duck for Turkey Day by Jacqueline Jules, illustrated by Catherine Mitter. So as I'm reading this, I want you to think about your traditions around this time of year. What do you do with your family? What are you thankful for? And food is a big part of a lot of cultures. And for us, uh, we're going to think about how people celebrate this holiday together. And it's not always about the traditional Thanksgiving feast, okay? Duck for Turkey Day. To get ready for Thanksgiving, Greeks class sang turkey songs. They made pine cone turkeys. They talked about pilgrims and Native Americans. See you Monday, Mrs. Cook said when the bell rang. Have a great turkey day. Thweek was excited about the Thanksgiving holiday. They would get three days off from school, but there was something important she had to talk to Mama about. Mama, Thweek said as soon as she got home, we need a turkey for Thanksgiving. No, we don't, Mama smiled. We'll buy duck at the market, but everybody else will have turkey, Tweek said. So her mom is actually planning to get duck. That afternoon, Benoit arrived from New York. Benoit is another word for grandma. Tweek hugged her grandmother. We're having duck for Thanksgiving dinner. I know, Benoit said. We're using my recipe from Vietnam. Everybody else has turkey. Our family liked duck better, Benoit answered. Back home, Thweek went to her bedroom. She pulled her pine cone turkey out of her poke bag. Mama and Benoit don't know the rules about Thanksgiving, she told the turkey. Thweek counted the money in her wallet. Twelve dollars. It might be enough to buy a turkey at the market. So she's planning to use her money to buy a turkey at the market. On Wednesday, Mama drove Thweek and Benoit to the Saigon market. Thweek held her wallet in her hand. Inside the store, she saw all sorts of vegetables. She saw fish, pork, duck, chicken, beef, shrimp, but no turkey anywhere. Thweek watched Benoit talk to the man at the counter. He handed her a package. This duck will be delicious, Benoit told Thweek. Thweek pulled her wallet. Thweek put her wallet in her pocket. The next morning, good, cook, good cooking smells filled the house. Thweek peeked into the kitchen. Soon all kinds of food would be put on the table, but there would be no turkey. Thweek ran to her room and brought back the pine cone turkey she had made in school. Now there's a turkey on the table, she said to herself. She felt a little better. Her cousin Kimberly and Min came at came at came over at three. They played tag outside until the grown ups were ready to eat. Did you know we're having duck for Thanksgiving dinner? Thweek asked her cousins. Yum, said Kimberly. I love duck. With spicy sauce, said Min. Mama called them inside for dinner. Kimberly and Min ran up the steps. But Thweek walked slowly. She was the only one who knew that Thanksgiving was Turkey Day. I'd like to give thanks, Dad said when he sat down at the table, for our home, our family, for America, Benoit said, raising her glass. For all this good food, Min said, picking up his fork. I'm hungry. Everyone laughed and passed their plates to be filled. Thweek had a little bit of everything, but she had seconds of the duck. She loved the spicy sauce and dark meat. When it was time to say goodbye, everybody hugged. What a great turkey day, Kimberly told Thweek. 
It had been wonderful, Dwight thought, with lots of good food and family fun. But what would Mrs. Cook say about eating duck on Turkey Day? On Monday morning, Mrs. Cook gathered the class on the story rug. How was your turkey day? She, sat, she asked. Tyler raised his hand. My grandpa came. We played football. That's nice, Mrs. Cook said. Who else saw their grandparents? Who else saw grandparents? Dwight raised her hand along with other classmates. Who saw cousins, Mrs. Cook asked. Dwight raised her hand again. Who would like to talk about their dinner? Mrs. Cook looked around the room. Dwight put her hand down. Tears burned her eyes. Is something wrong, Mrs. Cook asked gently. We didn't have turkey, Dwight blurted out. We had duck. And as you can see, she looks really sad when she, she shared that. Do you think she should be sad that she had something other than turkey? For a few moments, the class was quiet. Then Fum raised his hand. We didn't have turkey. We didn't have turkey either, he said. We had noodles and chicken. We had lamb, Tariq said. We had roast beef, Jonathan said. We had enchiladas, Carolina said. We had tofu turkey, Amy said. Mrs. Cook smiled. It doesn't matter what you eat on Thanksgiving as long as you have a good time with family and friends. After school, Dwight hurried home. Mama, she called when she opened the door. I have a new name for Thanksgiving. In our house, we call it Duck Day. So as you are enjoying your holiday this year with your friends and family and loved ones, um, it doesn't matter how you celebrate. We have that time off, so enjoy it with your family and just be grateful for all your families, all your family and friends, and um, have a good time. Have a great feast. Share lots of laughs. Share your love, and just be happy. Give lots of hugs. Have a great one. Thank you, friends. I hope you enjoyed this book.